What is going on everyone, I'm Nux Pro, and welcome to part 1 of the Die Rise 50 plus round strategy or tutorial. This is part 1, so obviously we're going to be going over the starting strategy, which is the most important part of the overall Die Rise strategy. Rounds 1 to 15 are the most difficult, because we're trying to get all our weapons, we're trying to get all our perks, the box is moving around, there's zombies everywhere, there's tight corners, you have to go certain ways to get to certain places and that makes things longer, you have to worry about not having jug for a little bit, and you also have to worry about budgeting your points because there are a bunch of doors here and there, so there's a lot to think about in the first 15 rounds and Die Rise is a quite complex map. The more you play it, the easier it gets, but I'm going to try to do my best to help you guys get through it. So this is the starting strategy. So first, we're in the starting room. All we're going to do, we're going to try to maximize our points. Just shoot the zombies with your pistol. Just try not to kill them with the actual pistol. You want to kill them with your knife to maximize the points and also try to repair the windows in this first room so you can get the most points possible. Our first objective is to get a good shooting weapon and to get quick revive and we're gonna pick up the PDW of 57. We're gonna open this door just so I have some more room. I was, I was gonna open it by round three anyway. Continue to knife the zombies when you have no ammo. It only takes two knives on round two, so you should be okay. Just try not to get double swiped. And if you get hit, just back away and wait. And it's pretty easy to knife the zombies down this little little area. And I'm going to repair the windows to try to maximize my points. After we get the PDW57 and Quick Revive, we are trying to save up for 5,000 plus points. We need 5,000 plus points to make our way to the power room because we are going to assemble the Soliquifier, which is the wonder weapon for Die Rise. So I just grabbed my Quick Revive and I'm going to finish up the rest of the zombies. I get Quick Revive now, not because I'm worried about going down, because if I go down, I'm just going to start over anyway if it's an early round. Um, I get it just because it's more convenient because Quick Revive, where it is right here, is kind of like on the other side of the map, and I'm not going to be coming back here for a little bit, so I just it's more convenient just to grab it now. And I need a thousand points to get this PDW, so knife him. And I got my PDW57, so you can stay down here for... A good amount of time I would leave by round six or seven six or seven it starts getting a little crazy and you can try to hoard them up down here to buy yourself some more time down here but there's really no point there's no benefit to getting any more ridiculous amount of points than 5,000 cuz you're gonna be getting points throughout the course of this no matter what anyway and six and seven it gets crazy and hoarding is pretty hard when the zombies are moving at the speed they are at round six or seven. So once you get 5,000 points, which should be around round four if you get a double points, or typically round five, round six if you get a Nova Crawler round. I don't even know what to call these things. Nova Zombies. They're not even zombies. I don't even know. You know what I mean, those mutant rounds. Then it will take you to round six. You can also maximize points with the PDW by shooting the zombies like five shots into the body and giving them a knife so you can still maximize your points with the PDW but just don't do it with a lot of zombies around. So I'm coming up on 5,000 points. Remember don't get nukes in early rounds because you will get more points by actually killing the zombies than the plus 400 the nuke will give you. But you can also play it by ear if you're getting close to the end of a round and there's one zombie there, you can grab it. Or if it is a times two, you get that plus 800 and you got a few zombies left, it might be worth grabbing. But you just got to play that by ear. So what we need to do now that we have 5,000 points is we're going to leave this area and we're actually going to go back to the starting area and we're going to take the elevator down and get to the power building. 
Now you need to make sure that you leave two or three slow walking zombies. It's round five, so all the zombies walk slow anyway. But you definitely want more than one just in case the one bleeds out because when you go down the elevators, they do funny things. Sometimes they bleed out randomly or the elevator will kill them. And I'm still maximizing my points just because now when we get to the power building, we have two primary objectives. Objective one is to build the Sliquid... The Soliquifier, I'm sorry, the Soliqui- the, the Soliquifier, and to get Juggernaut if it is in the power room. So we're gonna come down here, crash down, nothing special in this building. You can pick up a key, but the keys really don't matter because they're worthless, at least in a 50 plus round solo strategy. And now we're going to open the power room like so and we are gonna turn on the power powers on we have juggernaut right there and we have mule kick we will not be getting mule kick but we will be getting juggernaut and I will be getting that shortly now we are going to assemble the soliquifier now if you don't know where all the pieces are they are always in the same place there's about six or seven places that they can be but they always are in those six or seven places. There's four pieces and it always switches up. So I am gonna leave an annotation on the screen that will take you to a video of mine that will show you where all the soliquifier spots are. And I will also put that link in the description to help you out. But we have a piece here in the power room. And I, I don't remember. Oh, we have the piece of the table that when we just came from the other building, there's a table, we grab that. So once you assemble the soliquifier, you pick it up. Easy as that. And now our next objective is to get Juggernaut. Now, it's really hard to explain how the elevator shafts work. You kinda just gotta keep playing Die Rise to really understand how they work. But Juggernaut generally is in the elevator shafts in the power building. That's the only place I've seen it. There's three shafts. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in the power room and we're going to get on the elevator. All these elevators in the power room lead up to the top of the building. It's the only place they go and the only place I've seen Juggernaut. There's three elevator shafts for this building, and I know it sounds confusing, it might be hard to understand, but the more you play Die Rise, the more you'll understand. So once I come out this elevator, there's two shafts here. So those were directly in the power room, and then there's one separate one that you're gonna see when I go over here onto this. It's right there. Straight ahead, I'm gonna point at it. Right there. So that's the other one, and I know Juggernaut is in the two shafts by the power room, so I'm going to go over there, hopefully eventually. Come on, man. Oh, I think I didn't know at that point. I was like, oh, what's over there? So double taps over there, and they do switch around, but Juggernaut is generally in one of these three, and I got myself some Juggernaut. So our first two objectives are complete. We now need to get perks and the rest of our weapons and then we can begin our strategy and get to our hoarding area and get to 50 plus rounds and I will get to all that in part two. If you could please leave this video a rating. It helps me out tremendously and it's a new map. I really want to get this strategy out there to people. So please help me out, leave a rating. I got up at 4 a.m. Uh, yesterday and I've been playing this map for so long it would just help me out if you could just take one second after all the hours that I put into this game to just leave a like and possibly a favorite if it's not too much trouble and also check out my channel for other Die Rise videos I posted and if you're new around here subscribe because I'm going to continue to post more Die Rise videos but part two will be coming up shortly and thank you for watching and shoot straight.